how is CCC's deliverance ministry going? How has it helped people? Both those receiving and walking people through deliverance. Ballpark number of how many people have been helped? Okay, great question. So if you've been here a couple years, I'll give you kind of a two-year perspective on this. Uh, Two years ago, we really had no deliverance ministry going on. When we say deliverance ministry, what do we mean? We mean casting demons out of people or off of people. When people come in, they're demonized, and we help them to walk away without demons. And uh, this may sound a little bit weird, particularly if you're not from a very church culture or you don't read the Bible very much, but we believe that the spiritual world is very real and that Satan loves to hassle us, harass us, get in our heads, lie to us, and change our lives to drag us away from God. And sometimes there are people who get, or demons get particularly attached to a person. They become demonized. And that it's part of the kingdom of God that we bring hope and truth and healing and power and freedom from demons. Now, two years ago, we had no ministry related to this. In fact, it kind of made me nervous, if if I'm quite honest. Uh, But a couple of years ago, God started doing a fresh work in our church. We said, okay, if this is what the Bible teaches... If the Bible says that Jesus came in order to bring freedom and healing and casting out demons and we should do the same thing, then we should just learn and start to get good at this thing we haven't done very much in the past. And so we did a series called Even the Demons. Uh, We have a mentor from our seminary by the name of Rod Reamer, Rob Reamer, who came out and he's done a great job of teaching us and coaching us in that. And out of a soul care conference that we had last February, a team of people have been learning and practicing, okay, how do we do this aspect of ministry? And I'll just say from my perspective, I am just very excited about the way that it's turning out and how people are becoming free. Most of this happens behind the scenes because it's not appropriate for public consumption. And we haven't told a lot of stories about these things because of the, you can imagine the personal nature behind it. But I would say every week people are coming and being delivered uh, from demons, every week. Uh, We've got a team that meets on Tuesday nights and then they do other deliverances during other times. Uh, They're always available in the prayer room over here for salvation or healing or, you know, uh, sickness or deliverance on Sunday mornings and they would be available for you. Uh, But I wouldn't be surprised if we have, I should ask Wendell about this, but I'd say eight appointments a week of people who are uh, experiencing freedom in Jesus through his power through this. So that would be a couple hundred people uh, for sure in the last year. And uh, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. Uh, I believe in all kinds of different tools that help people with mental illness and spiritual illness and physical illness. And this is just one more tool in our toolkit that we're learning. I would say, you know, last year we're freshmen. This year we're kind of sophomores. We're not really, really good at it at this point, but we're getting better and we're learning. And I think over time it's going to help an awful lot of people to experience freedom in Jesus.